the next poet that I'm going to call to the stage uh, goes by the name Abraham. Put your hands together for Abraham. Abraham. Where is he? Abraham, where are you? Don't get shy now. Abraham. Abraham? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Put your hands together for him. Clap it up. I got it. Uh, yeah, my name is Ibrahim, a.k.a. Poet. Stands for Putting Out Eternal Thoughts. Um, this phone right here don't really got a title. So I'm just get into it. <clears throat> See that girl at the corner? What would make her choose this life? I can't tell. But you can bet she getting that money because sex sells. She's so pretty. She could have been an actress, a model, you know? Someone famous. But instead, she's in the back of that car giving herself to a stranger. She walks around with a poker face. Inside, I can tell she's hurting. But over her feeling, she pulls down that curtain. She how she pull down that skirt and pull off that shirt. Shit fucked up, right? But remember, she chose this life. I mean, she must have chosen, it, right? But see, then again, I can't exactly imagine it back in grade school, you know, when the teacher used to ask you, like, when you grow up, what you want to do? Huh? What you want to be? And her raising her hand up saying, me? I want to fuck. I'm trying to get paid. But what she really saying is I'm trying to get robbed. I'm trying to get raped. I'm trying to get AIDS. All the little kids in the class raising their hands saying, we trying to see an early grade. Shit. What happened to all the doctors? All the lawyers and firefighters? You doing 25 to life, man. Your future could have been brighter. You was out there serving fiends. For all that, you could have been a crooked politician, a liar. You could have been selling drinks. Nah, you was out there serving rocks. You was killing your people. For that, you could have been a cop killing your people. See, what I'm trying to say is some of these so-called honest professions are just as bad as the drug dealers, killers, and child molesters. Many times they want the same. Only difference is we playing in it. And they the ones running the game. Like these young kids out here killing each other. But just like the cops sent to arrest us. Not those legit. Just those sending 50 shots trying to dead us. And you can tell by the tone of my voice that I'm fed up. Fed up with the shit I see from day to day. First off, let me say, I don't condone selling drugs in any way. But this world's filled with some messed up shit. And a lot of us gotta get it how we live. Like my man, typical cliche, on the privileged minority. He sold drugs cause he had to. But I know this rich white boy, he sold drugs and he was glad to. See, they both got arrested in the same situation. Same, exe same exact judge they was facing. Only difference is, my man got sent up state. And the white boy, yeah you guessed it, he got probation. <laughs> and see my man was that same kid in the class raising his hand saying, when he grows up, all he wants to do is be a better man. A better man than his father was, see? When we run away from our problems, they follow us. So you can't run away, you gotta turn around and face them. And no matter how hard it is, you can't give it to temptation. Cause coming from where we are, it's easy to sell drugs. That's how society is set up. We're born ignorant, and we're bred to fail. But knowing that, nine times out of ten, we still walk blindly down that dead-end trail. Know it only leads to two places, either death or in jail, but hey, we might as well. Cause regardless, we're still stuck in this hell. At least that's what it feels like. But it's not our fault. It's just we've been doing wrong for so long that it starts to feel right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very nice, very nice. Round of applause. Very nice. I see you, Lucky. Shout out to Lucky in the building.